Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the full moon that's occurring on January 25th, 2024, and we're going to break down each life path number and the energies that you could be working with around this full moon. Before we get into the forecast, of course, this is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading or forecast, please take a look at my website and see which uh, service uh, best works for you. I'd love to work with you. You can book some time with me there. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, let's take a look. Life Path 11-2. So for you all, you're going to be working with the energy of the nine and donkey energy during this full moon. So this is interesting because the nine sort of brings about this very healing type of energy where you're sort of being asked to um, really sort of sink into your more feminine energy of receptivity, of nurturing, of self-soothing, of um, sort of really sitting with your emotions, right? Really sitting with whatever it is that you need to kind of move through or work through. Um, The nine sort of slows us down to be able to do that and gives us the space to be able to do that so that we can move through whatever it is that we need to move through to release it, to let go of it, um, to close it out, so to speak. And so coupled with the full moon, which oftentimes full moons are about culmination, closing out, um, releasing, that coupled with the nine is you know, the nine can sometimes be about closing out cycles, things coming to completion, releasing what needs to be released that's no longer serving us on our journey. And when it comes to nine energy, a lot of times, you know, it'll be very apparent to us what it is that we're clinging to or holding on to because it feels safe. Uh, when in reality, it's holding us back. And that can be relationships, that can be thought patterns, you know, belief systems, um, a, a business, you know, a career, et cetera, et cetera. And so with the nine often will bring by invitation the opportunity to release whatever that is or move forward from that space. If we choose not to, then usually what we'll see under a nine cycle is some kind of divine intervention that comes in um, to release it for us. So the nine will often you know, remove it from our space, re- remove it from our plate so that the next opportunity, the next, um, you know, leg of the journey can open up for us and we're not being held back to that it's very interesting too because um you know with donkey energy we have patience comes to mind right and not being so stubborn um that we're losing sight of the bigger picture right so so there might be situations where um you're not willing to see beyond um sort of what's in front of you and so that's keeping you stuck And this is saying, you know, with this energy, it's saying, look beyond what's right in front of you, right? And, and try to take in other perspectives, try to take in, um, a greater, um, level of awareness around the situation. Um, sometimes when we're in the thick of it, it's easy to get sort of, um, stuck in that area, right? So try not to be, or if there's areas where you might be too rigid or have your blinders on in a situation, this energy can, you know, sort of rip those off and say, this is the situation. This is what we're dealing with. How are you going to move through it? What are, you know, what's your solution to this situation? Well, not being too hard on yourself because there's also this element of patience, taking your time, being patient with yourself, not feeling like you have to have all of the answers right at this time. And you always sort of, whenever donkey comes up in a reading, I'll always mention this because it's so incredibly beautiful. Um, with donkeys, like if they're, you know, in a herd and one of the herd members dies that, you know, the donkeys or that donkey will, um, will sit in that area where they last saw the other donkey or where, um, the donkey died or it was buried. Right. And they'll sit in that area and mourn that loss and they'll mourn it for, you know, as long as they need to, as long as it feels right for them. And it's incredibly powerful to see that sometimes it can take, you know, a week, two weeks, a month, but they'll continue, continue to come back to that area and truly mourn that, that loss. And so for you all, this could be a period around this full moon where it's not just about releasing or letting go of something, but it's truly about mourning and grieving whatever that is that you're being asked to release. Um, Because, you know, a lot of times we'll see 
just let it go or just release it or whatever. But life doesn't work that way, right? Usually if there's something that we have to truly release, there's some kind of emotional attachment to that. And there's a process of that releasing, right? So it doesn't, it's not meant to happen at the snap of a finger. And it's, it me- it's meant to take time. And what I love about the donkey story is like donkeys recognize that. They recognize that in losing something, there's grief associated with that, right? And it's healthy to grieve that, to mourn that, to um, recognize that there's something being taken away, even with new opportunities coming in. And that's also what's beautiful about the nine. <clears throat> We're often asked to release something, but something new often comes in. And that's the way it works, right? It's like, in order for something new to come in, there has to be a release. Even if it's a, a new, beautiful opportunity that we're super excited about, we have to release something to make space for that. So let's say that we get, you know, the job of our dreams, that op- the offer for the job of our dreams. That's a great opportunity and we're excited about that. But we have to give up maybe, you know, some time that we spend with family or um, some of our, you know, our free time or whatever, right? So there's there's a give and a take in life, right? Always. So there could be some things that come in for you all, especially under this nine cycle, um, where the new opportunity comes in and you're you're asked to release something, but pay attention to that you're not just releasing it and avoiding the grief associated with that release. Um, honor whatever comes up for you. And, you know, it could also be that this is a time under a nine cycle that, you know, it's not uncommon to meet soul contracts, whether it's a friend or um, a romantic partnership or whatever. And these soul contracts can stay in our lives for a long time. But let's say that a soul contract comes in that's a relationship. You know, that's beautiful and it's probably very exciting and all of the things, but you're giving up or you're releasing um, sort of that single life, right? You can still be independent and interdependent at the same time, but there's still that it's a change, right? And so this energy is just saying, honor the feelings that come up for you around the change, whatever it is that you're being asked to release or whatever releases at this time, honor whatever comes up for you. And no matter how long it takes, that's the thing. And that's what I love about donkey energy coming up here is the reminder of, you know, your own humanity and your, your emotions and being patient with yourself and not sacrificing whatever it is that you need to move through and feel um, just for the sake of being able to stamp the label of healed on it, right? So be patient with yourself, be gentle with yourself, but also be open to the new opportunities that want to come in while also being aware of what needs to be released in order to honor this new thing that is coming in or this new person, place or thing that's coming in for you. So incredibly beautiful energy, uh, 11s. I love this for you all, but you know, it's just really about honoring yourself and just really sinking into not only your own humanity, but your own connection to your higher self as well as you move through whatever this is. And as you welcome in the new opportunities that are likely to show up around this time. So I hope it's a beautiful full moon for you all, 11s. Take care. Bye for now.